You see, last weekend we had nothing to do. So we said, let's go to Querétaro for a day. And that's exactly what we did. Bienvenidos a Querétaro. Here's my first impression. There are cars. There are parking spots. There are stones. And there's a huge ass mall. The biggest one from Latin America. From Mexico. Oh, really? Second just one from Latin America. Okay, just Mexico then. Sad. Sol. The name is Antea Lifestyle Center because you're not only shopping for products here, but also for a lifestyle. Uh -huh. And on the first side, what I really like is stores in the middle and plants growing on top of the stores. Like, where do you have that? I've heard from it so much and I really, really wanted to come with Yannick. Check it out. Have you been here before? I think so, but I don't remember. No, when, I, when it first opened. Wait, wait, wait. When it, <laughs> let me talk. <laughs> when it first opened, we came, but everything was closed. There were oh. no stores yet. I already told Joss, when I have a house later, I, not her, but <laughs> if I have my How house later, you? I want to have a wall like this in my garden. You guys don't know this, but we've been talking for a while now about getting a house or an apartment, <laughs> but we don't have the money. <laughs> so, like this video and share it. <laughs> yeah, share it, like it. It's important, guys. If you want us to keep making videos, like our videos. <laughs> now, that's amazing because the other day, Joss and I were talking about smoking in Mexico and in Germany. And we figured out that in Germany, way more people smoke than here in Mexico. It's almost like Tlaquepaque. So close. It is in places like this that I realize how many things are missing in San Luis Potosí. Ah, I'm so sad. There is no Sephora, there is no Victoria's Secret, there is no Forever 21. There is no H&M, dude. I know. You don't have to tell me because San Luis Potosí is so boring. Hey, cuidadito. <laughs> no, I I'm love kidding. you guys. It's beautiful. San Luis Potosí is super beautiful. <laughs> Such a liar. No, it's actually beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. I'm saying. <laughs> After this, I'm expecting Victoria's Secret to call me and allow me to be a model. An angel. You are already an angel. My oh. angel. Oh my god, just because of the camera, it's so annoying. <laughs> We're done here. We want to leave the mall. We wanted to pay our parking ticket. The machine said 25 pesos, but right next to it, it said the first two hours are for free. So we didn't pay it and now we're gonna risk it and hope that it works. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! Embarrassing! After leaving the mall, the weather got worse and we decided to stay at the hotel until the next day. So it's the next day. Yesterday we were at the hotel the entire day. We just were watching the Super Bowl and fooling around. <laughs> Hello Miami! Are you ready to get right? <laughs> and today we're gonna be here at the Centro Historico of Querétaro. We're at Plaza de Armas right now. to come to Querétaro because it's so close to San Luis Potosí and somehow every time I think about Querétaro I think about this specific place. We are in Jalando Parejo. No! <laughs> We're here in a jardín and it totally looks like San Luis Potosí because in San Luis Potosí they also have a building like this. So I'm like, where are we? San Luis Potosí or Querétaro? The one thing that stands out the most here in Querétaro, Querétaro? The one thing that stands out the most to me here in Querétaro is how clean it is. I don't see any trash on the floor and we're in the center of the city. And it's insane. I don't know if the people of Querétaro, the Queretanos, are super clean or if there are a bunch of people walking around cleaning up everything. My mission is now to find trash on the floor. It's 
insane. No trash. Forget everything I said. Querétaro. Here's another observation. When we are recording something in San Luis Potosí, Joss is usually like, no, put the camera away, it's too dangerous. People are staring at you. And and they stare at you a lot. But here, in Querétaro, Joss is super chill. The thing is that people don't seem to care that much. In San Luis, everybody's like... Since we were going back that evening, our time was limited, but we couldn't leave without trying Querétaro's most iconic candy. You're gonna try something that you can only find in Querétaro. Only here? Yes. Are you sure about that? Sure. Okay. What is, it? is it something with chili? No. Is it something with tamarindo? Non farts? <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Non farts? Peros de monja. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. <laughs> Actually, I'm totally into non farts, so joke's on you. Oh, pedo. Oh. <laughs> the pedos from monjas are really the worst pedos I've ever smelled. <laughs> they look like small Oops. poop, poop <laughs> sausages. <laughs> Pedro, ingredients Nun poop <laughs> It tastes like chocolate, but it tastes a little bit different to German chocolate somehow The moment I smell it, I know I'm probably not gonna like it Hmm, it's actually better than I thought Mmm, I like it Thumbs up Five stars. Piros de monja. Más vale adentro que afuera. <laughs> now we only had two hours left and after trying the most iconic candy, we wanted to see Querétaro's most iconic monument. Wow. It actually looks better than I thought. First of all, Joss, this is for you. Oh, <laughs> Yvette. Not all, not all. <laughs> Sorry, that's for my other girlfriend. Well, anyways, we're here at the Mirador de los Arcos. And from here, you can see an aqueduct consisting of 74 arches. A huge, huge thing. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. And what I experience is there are a lot of tourists here in the city. Compared to San Luis Potosí, where there's nothing happening. <laughs> hey, cuidadito. Remember when I said Querétaro was the cleanest city I've ever seen? So that's where all the people bring their trash. <laughs> now there was only time for one more thing. We only have one hour in Querétaro left, but we want to try the enchiladas queretanas before we leave. But you know, sometimes plans change. And we ended up surprising a subscriber instead. But more on that soon. In the end, instead of trying enchiladas queretanas, we had a quick bite at... Guess whose idea that was? And that was the end of a very short trip to the cleanest Mexican city we have ever seen. We definitely missed out on a lot of things, but we are sure we'll come back. And the first thing we'll do is try enchiladas queretanas. We're on our way back to San Luis Potosí. We left Querétaro. Querétaro. <laughs> yeah, and now... We're just here, it's raining, it's gonna get dark soon. Joss has to drive. And I'm scared as fuck. Well. And I can chill. <laughs> Conclusion. I'm still super impressed of how clean this city is. It's insane. I really like the center with big streets, with a lot of people, with a lot of tourists. Somehow I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. But it looks really nice with a lot of gardens. But the weather was not that great and I hope next time when we go it's gonna be great weather because with great weather everything seems twice as fun. That's true. No, I really enjoyed the trip too. I think it was super nice. It was super express, just one day. One day wasn't enough, so I guess we have to come back and maybe then we can make a meet and greet. If you wanna know when we're having meet and greets near you, then go follow us on Instagram because you're always texting us here and there our videos. Oh, you didn't let us know we wanted to go there and meet you, but just follow us on Instagram. There you're gonna see everything. And on top of that, Joss has a couple announcements she wants to make. Mm -hmm. Avisos, avisos parroquiales. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is that we are now posting our videos on Facebook. So if you prefer that platform, then go ahead and follow us there. Tag your friends, tell everybody you know, and support us there. It's gonna be fun. We're yes. trying our best. And the next one is a new project that I'm starting right now. It's a new Instagram profile where I'm gonna be posting 
some topics that are a bit more intellectual. Because believe it or not, she's not that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're so mean. <laughs> no, I always have super interesting thoughts, but I don't know if you're interested. So I created a whole new profile for that. Go ahead and check it out. Follow me. Sobre el techo. All right, and that sums it up. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you don't already. I will see you next week. Adios, muchachos. Cheers.